The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But, trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day, all but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp, dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger. Rage, even. Her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge. For blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed. A cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat. And her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse, those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers, but there was someone she had to see first, someone special, someone she really hated the most. As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat as he lived alone. He usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. Nobody there. He almost felt disappointed, but before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. Ja, willkommen zurück im nächsten Part von The Cat Lady. An einer nahegelegenen Wand war der riesige Schatten einer Katze. Er bemerkte den Schatten einer verhüllenden Gestalt vor ihm. Der tote Körper einer ausgeweideten Katze hing auf der Heizung. Hmm. 
An einer nahegelegenen Wand war der riesige Schatten einer Katze. Hm. Er bemerkt den Schatten einer verhüllten Gestalt vor ihm, nehme ich mal. Oder der tote Körper einer ausgeweideten Katze hing auf da. Das ist auch eklig. Oder ein riesiger Schatten einer Katze. Ich nehme mal den riesigen Schatten einer Katze. On a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. Jemand hatte Katzenmörder auf seine Tür geschrieben. Der Schädel einer Katze steckte auf dem Sattel seines Fahrrads. Jemand hatte Arschloch auf seine Tür geschrieben. Äh Wir schocken ihn mal mit nem, mit dem mit dem Katzen auf dem Sattel des Fahrrads. There was a cat's skull stuck on the seat of his bike. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong. And that something had entered his home now too. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. Eine riesige und blutgetränkte Zombie Katze saß auf seinem Bett. Cat Widow ist hier. Die Katzenwitwe ist hier. Stand überall. Was weiß ich wo? Noch was? Nein. Um. Cat Widow ist hier. Hm, ist das gruseliger als das, diese Zombie-Katze? Wir nehmen mal die Zombie-Katze. A giant, blood-soaked Zombie-Cat sat on his bed. <lacht> Now that's really stupid. Fair enough. That didn't really happen. <laughs> Everyone knows there's no such thing as giant zombie cats, right? Na gut. What really happened was this. Cat Widow is here, okay. Cat Widow is here was written all over the wall. Wie im Traum ging er in die Küche, um etwas zu trinken. Jetzt bekam er wirklich Angst und entschied sich, die Polizei zu rufen. Wie im Traum ging er in die Küche, um was zu trinken. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. Was war klar, da kommt jetzt Blut raus und kein Wasser. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off. But no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him? His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Jetzt bekam er wirklich Angst und entschied sich, die Polizei zu rufen. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat 
set as screensaver. He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper, more like a her. She was there in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. Cat Widow, die Katzenwitwe, zielte mit einer Schrotflinte auf seiner Brust. Sie kam näher wie ein Gespenst und lüftete schnell den Schleier. Hm, okay. Wir kommen mal näher und lüften den Schleier. She came closer like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him, His knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then he fainted. Ha ha ha! Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. Let's cross him off the list. Hm. Okay, Brian ist es auch nicht. Das ist ja merkwürdig. Ist es am Ende etwas Susan selber? Das wäre ja total krank. Ich meine, das wäre richtig scheiße. Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right, we need some sleep. I really wish there was an elevator in this building. Okay, ich hätte jetzt echt gedacht, es wäre Brian. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Flat five. That's the old guy. Can't be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. Ja, das kann doch gar nicht sein, aber es ist tatsächlich die einzige Wohnung, die wir nicht überprüft hatten, ne? Nee, da sind wir nicht reingegangen. Dann hat der Opa uns doch verarscht. Dann hat er nur so getan, als ob. Tja, jetzt bin ich ja mal echt gespannt. Aber krass, dass sie das hinbekommen haben mit, mit dem Brian, den so zu Tode zu erschrecken. 
Tja. Ähm. It's just you and me, my love. Ach du Scheiße. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be all right. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. Kapitel 7 Oho, nicht den Troll füttern. Oh mein Gott. Was passiert nur jetzt? Wer ist denn jetzt? Ich meine, dass der Joey Davis ja auch krank ist. Oder meinten die die Wohnung? Komme ich jetzt durcheinander? Ich meine, der kann das natürlich auch immer noch eigentlich sein. Aber den hatten sie gestrichen, der ist das nicht gewesen. Ich bin verwirrt. Aber der Joey ist ja eigentlich so am deutlichsten, am hasserfülltesten von allen gewesen. Mit seiner Frau. Tja. Arme Mitzi. Äh. Aquarium. Also hier waren wir auch noch nicht drin. Mir gefällt gar nicht, wie das Wasser aussieht. Das ist kein einz da ist kein einziger Fisch im Aquarium. Just look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Ach Leute, ich will da gar nicht hingehen. Ich weiß nicht, was wir hier finden werden. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Es war eigentlich die einzige Wohnung. Ja, ich, ja, sie hatten den gestrichen ohne mit dem Laptop, aber die hatten bei dem Opa auch keinen Laptop gefunden. Und bei Joey Davis hatten die da den Laptop eigentlich kontrolliert. Gab es da überhaupt einen? Auch nicht, ne? Ich bin durcheinander. Ich bin gespannt, was wir jetzt gleich finden werden. Und wer das Auge Adams ist. Wir sehen uns im nächsten Part von The Cat Lady. Bis dann.